If you ever notice in old school films, when the titles and logos come up, there's always a little bit of jitter to them just because of the way the film kind of projects and doesn't stay exactly static as a digital text object would. My name is Justin Odisho, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate that kind of jitter old school film title trick in After Effects. So the first thing I'm going to do, I suppose you could do this on any color background, uh, black on white, but if you wanted to create a colorful background, since uh, I'm using a clockwork orange as kind of the inspiration for this, you could always go to layer, new, solid, and you can pick whatever color background you want, red, blue, green, and you can press okay. And then I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm gonna type out whatever I want. So in this case, I'll kind of just mimic the text from the, the movie. And in the align panel, you can actually center things if that's what you want. And also in the character panel, you can choose whatever font, size, boldness, whatever you want. And I'm gonna make, just make sure it's centered. And now this is kind of like your standard title. There's nothing moving. It doesn't have that life to it, that, the, that texture and life that the film had. So two things that we can do is one, we can add some noise and grain. So if I want, I can just go to the effects panel, search for the noise effect, and I can add noise onto the solid or onto the text. And I can just increase the amount of noise, maybe 10%. Um, it's probably hard to see in the video, but you know, the more noise you have kind of adds this animated texture. And if you play it, uh, it actually automatically animates. The other thing you could do if you're just working with a lot of layers and you want to add a, a layer of noise over everything is just go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then add the noise effect on that adjustment layer and just make sure that is on top of all the layers. So that'll apply it over everything. And so now we already have a little bit of that texture, but the next thing I'm going to do is add that jitter. So the power of After Effects is we can do this with a simple animation expression. So I'm gonna find my text layer. I'm gonna open up the transform properties and under the position, I'm going to hold the option key and click on that stopwatch keyframe icon to allow us to add an expression onto the position. And we can actually just use this drop down menu and go to the property drop down and just find wiggle. It's already preset in there and we simply have to choose the frequency and the amplitude. So just to show you an example, we can do a frequency of 10. And just to show you what's really going on, if I do an amplitude of 100 and play it, you'll see that the, this is moving around a lot at 100. But if I take that all the way down to just one or two, we'll see that now we have that barely visible jitter, kind of like how it is in the film projections. And that is what kind of gives us that old school flicker as if it was shot on film. And then you can add other finishing touches if you want, maybe add a little bit of a Gaussian blur uh, over the whole thing. So maybe I'll just add a little bit of that either on the text or the adjustment layer, make things a little less sharp, maybe just like one or two pixels. And you can experiment from this point on with color adjustments, adding different types of noise. For example, on my web shop, justinodisho.com slash shop, I have these film textures that I sell, um, or you could make your own or find your own. And you could add textures such as this on blending modes by right clicking, going to blending mode, setting these things such as this on blending modes like overlay. But those are just some different options to play around with. Um, I should make another tutorial on different ways to generate noise with the fractal noise and noise animations and stuff. But if you enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all my new videos. Check out all my other After Effects tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.